He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Well, hello, everyone. My name is Don Bain, and of course, I am the Gadget Professor coming to you live and certainly in color from our Scottsdale, Arizona studio. We are on show number 290. That's the big 290. We have a phenomenal gadget for you today. It's actually a Bluetooth speaker that really kicks some butt here, and uh, we'll show you that in a minute. If you're new to the Gadget Professor, welcome. We come up every Thursday evening with a brand new show. The easiest way to check us out is just to go to our webpage, and that's thegadgetprofessor.com. And uh, all our shows are up here. We've been doing this for about five years now. Uh, actually, uh, our show is heard in 172 countries around the world, so uh, I'm very proud of that and uh, actually honored that everybody likes to listen to The Gadget Professor. Also, uh, we're going to be at NAB, uh, National Association of Broadcasters. That's coming up, I think, April 24th, and uh, we are already booked, and we will be doing our show, uh, which would be a, uh, a new interview of uh, some new technology every 15 minutes, and uh, stay tuned. There'll be more on that, uh, but uh, we are definitely going to be there, and uh, that should be a lot of fun. In any event, let's get right into our gadget of the day. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I have run this through its paces uh, for about a week now, and uh, I must tell you, I am actually impressed. Let's take a look at it. So here it is. It's called the Nine Base, the Outdoor Performer. It's no wonder no one can spell, but they spell this N-Y-N-E-9. Okay. In any event, uh, this is called the Outdoor Performer, and it's quite the performer, I will admit. It comes in white and black. I, I have the uh, black unit, and uh, it lists for $150. Bucks, but uh, let me l read you the overview. Uh, campers, tailgaters, and outdoor sports enthusiasts will go crazy over this convenient and robust sound of the 9-base wireless Bluetooth speaker. Powered by a 10-hour recharge lithium-ion battery with a tough rubberized finish the nine base raises any outdoor gathering to a whole new level of enjoyment it's quick to connect your playlist with its Bluetooth 4 technology you can also charge your device on the integrated power bank and use the built-in hands-free microphone to invite more friends to the gathering life is an adventure and the nine base speaker helps keep it that way well, let's take a look at this uh, on camera too, and uh, we'll get a feel for what it really does. So here we go, and as you can see, uh, it's not something that's portable that you're going to put in your pocket, but it's certainly portable enough where you can carry it around. It weighs probably about five, six pounds. Uh, on the top, and I'm just going to tip this over, uh, you can see a variety of buttons here. The typical things, forward, reverse. Uh, it will answer the phone for you if you click the, uh, the button there that says answer the phone, and you have the plus and minus uh, the plus and minus here for your volume control and here is the on and off switch you probably may or may not see this little light right here but that's the Bluetooth indicator light and when it blinks you can actually pair this up and when it's solid it is actually paired and that's the case right now uh, on the side it has red on each side but uh, over here it has NFC so if you just tap your phone or your NFC device whatever Bluetooth device you're going to use it will automatically pair up which is nice uh, on the back, uh, nothing special. Uh, they do have a uh, an on and off switch here, which we're going to slide on and off. This is kind of nice right here. As you can see, they have a place where you can put uh, a stick uh, with all your music in, and it will play that. Yeah, you can probably put a multimedia hard drive in there. And uh, here you have an input jack right there, and uh, they give you this cable, and you can plug it in. It will actually act as a uh, uh, the output from uh, your speaker jack into this device, which is nice. Here, of course, is your power pack cord, which uh, comes with it. And this is a little uh, hole there to get your bass to pump out. It does have a nice handle built right in here, so you can kind of pick it up like so. So that's the overview of uh, what it does functionally. And... Uh, I must say that it's uh, very easy to use. It uh, connects to the Bluetooth in seconds. There's no question about that. Uh, it's funny because I read over the, uh, uh, the the specs on it, and I don't really see where it says it's quote-unquote waterproof. Uh, the features are 10 hours of playtime, and it does do 10 full hours. And i got to tell you, I was blasting this thing 
Uh, it has a 33 foot range uh, for the Bluetooth. It has a 3.3 uh, millimeter auxiliary input jack, which we just talked about, the built-in uh, handle to carry it, built-in microphone for hands-free calling so you can actually uh, use this device, dial on your phone and use it as a, a hands-free speaker, and it works pretty well for that. The NFC is very simple for, for pairing. You just touch the uh, uh, your smartphone next to it if it's NFC enabled, and bam, uh, it, will, it will find it. And it has a built-in... Um, phone charger which is in that jack which is actually in the back that I showed you that USB port uh, that's basically it it doesn't say anywhere where it's quote waterproof uh, it does have a nice uh, rubberized function uh, you know in general the, 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 the build of it is really nice it's rubberized and I would imagine you can splash it I don't think you want to pour water on it but uh, in general I was pretty pleased with it and the bottom line is how does it sound how does it sound? Well, uh, to demonstrate that, uh, what I'm going to do is something actually uh, a little different here. Uh, I am going to actually go to a, a friend of mine. His name is uh, Guy Panaccio, and uh, Guy is a, uh, a singer, and uh, he's just not any singer. Guy actually uh, is a, a Sinatra sound-alike, and I do mean uh, sound alike. Uh, this guy can really belt them out, and he's an extraordinary uh, entertainer and an extraordinary talent. So, today for my demo, uh, I went to a guy's page, and uh, with permission, of course, I just spoke with him this morning, and uh, I'm going to punch some of uh, guy's sound through this. Now, one thing I want to tell you uh, is that. Uh, I am using a very, very directional microphone. This is a blue microphone, about a six, seven hundred hour microphone, and it's very directional so that if I move to the left and speak, or I move to the right and speak, or I just don't speak away, as you can see, the sound is very, very directional. So I have this speaker uh, right here, as you can see, uh, it, it, it's uh, right there, and I'm about two feet away in the opposite direction. So I'm going to punch in a guy right now, and uh, you'll get a little bit of feel for what this, uh, what this speaker will actually do. All right, we ready? Here we go. <laughs> It's definitely filling up this room. I'm going to bring it right into the microphone. Instead of crying, I'm going to take the town and turn it upside down. I'm going to live and live until I die. They're going to say what a guy. So I can listen to Guy all day. So uh, you can get a good feel for the punch this has. And uh, I only had the volume up about 40%. Uh, via my uh, smartphone here, I can turn it up or I could turn it up with the volume control that's actually built into the device. But uh, I got to tell you, uh, this device really, really, really punches the sound out. No question about it. I had it uh, at my pool last night. I went into the jacuzzi and uh, I brought this out and uh, I was, I don't know, 20 feet from the speaker. Had my, uh, my uh, iPad and I just turned it on. Wow, the bass on this is extraordinary. So uh, I will have to say that this really, really punches out the sound. Phenomenal bass, very good clarity. And uh, I give this probably about a, a 9 out of a 10. I don't know why I'm not giving it a 10, but uh, it's really, really good and you will not be unhappy. So again, if you need a speaker to really kick butt in a room or outside, uh, this puppy will definitely do it. Uh, now let's take a look at where uh, where you might want to get this, and I'm just suggesting one of the places, uh, maybe Amazon, and uh, the cost of this is uh, uh, 99 bucks on Prime. But I will tell you, uh, I got this at uh, Sam's Warehouse for 80 bucks, so uh, uh, definitely, definitely worth the 80 dollars. I did try it on the uh, hands-free uh, function, and it worked quite well. So uh, uh, definitely check this out. Again, it makes a great present great for a door room. I don't know if you want to uh, give this to your kid if he's living in your home because he will blast, he or she will blast you out. No question about it. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed that review. And again, I really, really like this. So let's get on to some, uh, some news and some apps. I know that's what we're all waiting for. So here we go. Uh, watch for these things to be coming soon in a supermarket near you. These are solar panels 
that uh, they don't look like they're solar panels, but they really are, and they actually fold up and curl up and roll up, and uh, they work quite well. It's a new breed of a, of a solar panels, and you're going to see these all over the place. You're going to see them on hats and shirts and clothing, and uh, you're going to be buying them in the supermarket or just about any store you go to, and uh, it's going to supply you with power from the sun. Certainly here in Arizona, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Now, here is a, a video I'm going to put up on our show notes. And again, if you want the show notes, just go to uh, www.thegadgetprofessor.com. And on the left, right side, you'll see a little uh, thing that says newsletter. And if you click that, you'll get the show notes for free every Thursday evening when the show is posted. This is a cool video that I found, and it has 10 survival hacks that could save your life. And they show you how to make candles out of crayons and just all kinds of cool things. Uh, it's worth watching. It's about six and a half minutes, and I think you'll really enjoy it and get a lot out of it. Now, I get a lot of questions, and incidentally, uh, you can email me 24 hours a day, seven days a week at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. That would be thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com, and I definitely try to answer all my emails. So, uh, I got an email uh, this week from a woman, and she wanted to do a public access record check. And, of course, she was broke like everybody else. I think the only people who watch the Gadget Professor show are people who are broke. I don't know why that is, but in any event, she was broke, and she wanted to know what public uh, uh, access vehicles are available on the Internet. And uh, there's a bunch of them out there, but the one she asked me about in particular was one called Checkmate. So uh, Checkmate is definitely out there, but I have to tell you, uh, Checkmate's a little a little weird. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put in the name, uh, the last name, the first name, and what state you think this person is that you want to check up on. And then you're going to click search, and it's going to go through all kinds of things. And what it's going to do is uh, go through a series of graphics like it's searching, and it's going to show you, show you people's pictures and uh, accessing this. Did this person live in Arkansas? Yes or no? Oh, yes, this helps us dig through our records. And this takes about four or five minutes and you can see wheels spinning and it's like really doing deep research and it, uh, the graphics on this and the and the video implementation of this is pretty slick uh, and you're getting all excited and uh, it, you're watching this tick and you're seeing all the information and it says some of this information may be scary some of this information may be graphic we're doing a search of the personal's criminal record by the way do you think they have a criminal record and it keeps involving you and engaging you and all the while it's searching and searching and you're getting really pumped up uh, but what happens is at the end of the uh, of the cycle of doing it searching it says we have found the information on the following uh, information on their on their past information on their criminal record information on their uh, taxes blah 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 and you're like wow this site's unbelievable but what they don't tell you right off the bat is they're gonna charge you 40 50 60 bucks to get the information, I personally don't pay it. Uh, and last but not least, I don't want any of my information on there. I really don't. So uh, what you may want to do is go on to the Remove Your Info uh, page, which is right here, and put in your name and all that stuff, and it will remove, by law, it will remove your info from being on Checkmate. So you may want to check that out, no pun intended. All right, moving right along. This is a very cool app. You will want this app, and of course, it's free. It's called the Customizer God, and what it allows you to do is go into your Windows uh, d uh, operating system and change all the icons, and uh, you can move some, you can add some, and it lets you just customize your, your interface however you like it, which is the way, quite frankly, it should have been from the beginning, so uh, you might want to check that out. Now, here's a good one. Uh, a lot of you people are buying new TVs and uh, new monitors, and uh, you get these really cool LCDs, but sometimes there's a little pixel, there's a little hole in it. So this next piece of software is going to answer that question. Uh, uh, is my LCD okay? So here it is. You're going to go to this website, and uh, is my LCD okay? And this is software that you're actually going to run on your monitor, and it's going to show you all the little pixel holes, and it will tell you uh, if it's okay or not, and it will give you a parameter. So uh, very cool device, to, uh, to very cool app to use on your devices, particularly if you bought a new monitor. Uh, I would definitely run this on, and this is version 2.75, which is the latest version. And last but not least, uh, you want to check out Ghostbuster. This application eliminates uh, 
Uh, all devices, it detects ghosts of files and uh, all things that are similar in nature, and it will remove them. So it's a great clutterer eliminator. And uh, I've just ran that uh, a couple days ago on my system, and uh, I was astonished how much junk and duplicate files I had on my system. And uh, about five minutes before going on the air, my system, yes, the Gadget Professor system, did a major crash. And uh, I don't know why it did that, but uh, I am going to sign off and check it out and see what is going on underneath the hood here. Uh, I would give you a view of what the uh, Gadget Professor's uh, studio desk looks like underneath it, but uh, I'm afraid to show it to you. It's uh, triple X rated. I got wires where there shouldn't be and all kinds of stuff like that. So in any event, this is Don Bain, The Gadget Professor. Hope you had a good show. See you next week. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor.